mean, why was Kelly wearing one of Kim's dresses? Why was Kim there? I mean, she was supposed to be out with Steve. Well, she must have come back. You said she was upstairs with Kelly. When I came through, Kelly was on the floor. I didn't see anything. So what happened? I don't know. But Kelly regained consciousness. She didn't. She didn't. Steve came into the reception, but Kim was upstairs with Kelly. Kelly regained consciousness in the ambulance. That is a good sign. How is she? Her mother and father are still with her. Bruising, but no bones broken. Oh, thank God. That's the good news. The baby wasn't so fortunate. She's lost it, I'm afraid. No. I'm sorry. I said we could have five minutes. Okay, I'm so sorry. Five minutes, I'm coming back. Do you need anything, Kelly? No, they let me out soon. Why did you have to change that dress? It didn't feel right. I wanted to look good for you. Did you fight with Kim? I know you want to blame Marin. So do I. No. I just want to know what happened. A right mess. That's what happened. Our baby. Zoe so won't be much use to you today, Paddy. She's only just got back from the hospital. Oh, that sounds horrendous. Did you see Kelly fall? No. We were all in Tony's reception. Morning. Hiya. Oh, I'm going to do all your calls today, so you can stay here if you want. Are you sure? Of course I am. It's the least I can do, innit? After all the time I spent at Althwaite. And I'm going to make you lunch up at my place, and don't argue. It's decided. Thanks. Right, I shall see you later. Well, Paddy, strike Jack Slugden off your list, because he's you, Miss Coward. He won't need you now. Right. Oh, sorry. It's OK, Becky. Life goes on. Easier for some than it is for others, but... Why don't you go and get some sleep? I'll mind the shop. I'm glad you're here. Chris was asking all kinds of questions in the hospital. He wanted me to say that it wasn't an accident, that Kim pushed Kelly. If you didn't see, you can't say. No. And even if I had, I might not have told him. Have you finished? Yeah, it was lovely. No appetite, I'm sorry. I said, eat what you can and leave the rest. Done very well. Sick of intrigue and argument, Becky. Tate rhymes with hate, doesn't it? Hate is something you're not capable of. Well, you get caught up in it, there's so much of it around. Chris hates Kim. Kim hates Chris. Enough to push Kelly down the stairs and kill her baby? Ugh. It's such a mess. Doesn't seem to be any way of sorting it out. Maybe that's why we're all being punished. God isn't like that. Otherwise, he'd be as petty as the rest of us. Yeah, well, this is it for Chris. That baby meant so much to him. And you. Is it that obvious? I just... I just feel so damn guilty. But Chris, he's lost so much and I, I can't help feeling that I have as well. I wanted that baby too. Come on, Zoe. Look forward. You've got to put all this disappointment behind you and look forward. Drive. Yes. Hi, Will. Hi. Uh, look, why don't you stay here? I won't be doing anything to leave in surgery. What? And have you docked me half a day's wages? <laughs> See you. <laughs> Bye. So, how long's that been going on? Zoe's just had some bad news. Oh, has she? Well, I bet that cheered her up. 
What are you talking about? George Lawson's a good sport. Remember George? One who was fancying Zoe. Oh, she's very attractive. What's that American woman like? Bushy. She's pretty. Who told you she was? Probably it was you, Mum. You'd pick up on something like that. Your mother met her at the reception. And was she fancying Zoe Tate as well? Seems everybody's fancying Zoe. If you must know, I saw her and Dad out running. Well, they weren't exactly together. She was about 100 yards ahead of Dad. Too competitive. Not a team player. What's happening tomorrow? Oh, we're doing some climbing. Be a long day. I hope it's not too long. Why? Will you miss me? No. It's what you might miss. Right. There's obviously something on Will's mind. I think we should all hear it, don't you? You've been talking rubbish since you sat down. If there's something wrong, spit it out. No. It'll keep. Right. I'll finish my dinner. My stepmother's been very attentive. Brought my lunch to the office. Just take it at face value, Chris. Kelly's home. I rang the hospital. If you want my advice, you stay away. Right, oh, hold on and dust it. What are you doing? Evening surgery. I'm OK. Well, I'll do it. That's what I came back for. No, you go with Mandy. I, I don't mind watching. I mean, seeing all them nice little fluffy animals, it might do me good after the day I've had. I thought perhaps she might come with me. Perhaps tomorrow, when Kelly's feeling better. Well, she's feeling dead rough today. You've seen her? Yeah. She's got, like, all bruises on her ribs, like dinner plates. Did she tell you what happened? Oh, Chris, stop it. Well, she just keeps blaming herself. Well, if she hadn't pinched one of Kim's frocks, they wouldn't have had that fight, would they? Change of plan, Paddy. You are doing evening surgery. Visitors. Oh, well, Steve and I are going out to dinner, if you care to join us. No. You too, Zoe? You were fighting with Kelly. It's hearsay, Chris. You have no proof. I thought this was all sorted. You said she slipped. You never touched her. Changing her story now, is she? I've not spoken to her, so you tell me what happened. Calm down, Chris. Just for once in your life, tell the truth, damn you. That's enough. Shut up! She can fool you any day of the week, but not me. You pushed her down those stairs! No! I was annoyed, yes. She was in my room, rooting through my things, and she was wearing one of my dresses again. And you grabbed her? In the doorway, not near the stairs. And you struggled? I wanted my dress. You've killed my baby! Oh, you're mad. I don't want him in this house, Steve. You think I'm staying under the same roof as you, breathing the same air as a killer? Could make a, quite a habit of it, couldn't you? Murder. Take her to dinner, Steve. Come on, Kim. I didn't do it. I didn't do anything. Come on. <coughs> we'll get your things. You can come home with me. 